This is the first video in a series of videos looking at a few other really important and useful truth equations and relationships. The first one we're going to look at is the ratio in terms of tan theta and 2. And quite often it's referred to as the T method will become very clear in a minute. Alright, so unlike the other uh, videos I've made, we're going to start with the rule and we're going to prove it rather than the other way around. So we start with if tan theta on 2 is equal to t, then tan theta is equal to 2t over 1 minus t squared. Now if you think about this, look at that second part in the um, statement. It looks very similar to what <coughs> we've looked at already and that is the tan 2 theta is 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan theta squared or tan squared theta. So Hopefully, it's obvious, or in a minute it will be pretty clear that this, um, how this relationship comes about. So, I might just write that down. What we already have shown is that tan 2x is equal to 2 tan x all over... 1 minus tan squared x. Now, what happens if x is equal to theta on 2? Then, on the left-hand side, I end up with tan theta. On the right-hand side, I end up with 2 tan theta on 2 all over 1 minus tan squared theta on 2. Now, if I let tan theta on 2 equal to t, then tan x, oops, tan theta, excuse me, is going to be 2t over 1 minus t squared. So there's a relationship for tan theta in terms of t when t is equal to tan theta on 2. Now let's have a look at sine theta. So we start in a similar way by saying if tan theta on 2 is equal to t, then <coughs> sine theta is equal to 2t over 1 plus t squared. Now, this doesn't seem to be as obvious as our t rule. Um, it requires a bit more work to find this relationship. So let's start with tan theta on 2 first. Tan theta on 2, that's equal to t, or t over 1. Now I'm going to use my right angle triangle trick. So my, let's call this angle theta on 2. So tan opposite over adjacent results in the hypotenuse by Pythagoras being t squared plus 1. Or actually, having a look at what I have in the denominator there, I might write that as 1 plus t squared. So forget my right angle. Now, looking at the right angle triangle, I can see that sine theta on 2 is equal to 
t over square root of 1 plus t squared and cos theta on 2 is 1 over square root of 1 plus t squared. Now if we pause and look at what we're trying to prove, which is 2t over 1 plus t squared for sine. Well, here I have t over square root of 1 plus t squared. If I end up with multiplying the denominator by itself, then the square roots will cancel. So I can see that I'm on the right path. Now, let's go back to um, our double angle relationship. We have sine 2x equaling 2 sine x cos x. But what if x is equal to theta on 2? Then I end up with sine theta equaling 2 sine theta on 2 times cos theta on 2. Now if I substitute in for um, sine theta on 2 and cos theta on 2, I end up with sine theta equaling 2 times t over square root of 1 plus t squared times 1 over square root of 1 plus t squared, which results in 2t over 1 plus t squared. So a little bit more tricky to get the relationship, but it's not too complicated. Our last relationship in the team method is for cos. Let's start. So if tan theta on 2 is equal to t, then cos theta is going to be 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Now, I am going to use the same right angle triangle that we used for our proof in sine, for sine, here for cos. So our double angle rule for cos was cos 2x is equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x. Now, as before, we're going to let x equal to theta on 2. So then, we end up with cos theta is equal to cos squared theta on 2 minus sine squared theta on 2. Substituting from our triangle, we end up with 1 over square root of 1 plus t squared, all squared, minus t over square root of 1 plus t squared, all squared. So we end up with 1 over 1 plus t squared minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Therefore, cos theta is 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. As I said at the beginning, these are very useful rules. You need to keep them in mind. It's one of those tools that sit at the bottom of our mathematical toolbox, and once in a while they become extremely useful, and you just have to try to recall that they're there um, to refer to them when needed. Sometimes you're going to forget um, what those specific relationships are, and that's okay as long as you recall this part and 
you recall this relationship and your right angle triangle trig you can derive all the others so you need to remember that tan theta on 2 is equal to t base use that to draw your right angle triangle and remember your double angle rules and then you can derive all the t method uh, relationships